everyone, good morning, welcome to our channel. Today is the beginning, the first day of school holiday and we have decided to come to the Melbourne Museum and watch, uh, experience the dinosaurs in Antarctica which is being shown in a IMAX theatre uh, which is part of the Melbourne Museum and it's in 3D. It's really really incredible uh, experience for adults and the children parents and kids of any age so it's very very educational very very um, great for you to come here and uh, enjoy the, the show and it runs for 45 minutes if you are a museum member uh, you only need to pay $10 for adult and kids but if you are not then it's uh, $18 for, uh, for an adult and it's the same price for children so yeah I think it's something great for you to come experience and uh, it's something that you don't want to miss the show runs for the, this whole two week school holiday for those of you who are not aware um, the IMAX data is located within the Melbourne Museum and that's in Carlton and the Melbourne CBD and as you are aware, there is current restrictions in Melbourne uh, due to COVID. And uh, in order to attend the show, you need to uh, pre-book a day in advance. So as Narvin has mentioned, if you are a museum member, it's about $10. And if you are not, I think you pay about $18. So uh, a bit of uh, feedback on, on the actual IMAX data. This is it's a really nice looking data, very well set up. Um, the seats in the theatre was extremely um, comfortable. The show that we went for is in 3D, so they provided us with 3D glasses and I would say this was one of the best 3D experiences I've had. Uh, I've been for a few with the kids and this was indeed really, really good. Especially the glasses that they gave us was really comfortable and you could really sort of uh, experience uh, the effects. And sometimes with some 3D glasses, you tend to get a bit of headache. Like I had a bit of headache when I went to watch a different show in Shepparton a few years ago. And this time over, we didn't have any of that issues happening as well. So um, the other thing is, uh, I'm not sure if these shows are also available in uh, museums in other states. So for those of you all who are in other states in Australia, probably just check with your local IMAX data and see if they have this, uh, this uh, show available. Now, when we also came here today, we also found that there are a few other interesting shows coming up as well. I think there's one uh, in a couple of months time about um, the solar system. And uh, I think that would be really, really great. So Meherwan is particularly interested in the solar system. So we'll be definitely be coming here again to take him for that. And Mahavi learned a lot today from um, the, the show. So um, he is going to give us a spill about what he has learned. So stay tuned for that. So I've also added the links to the uh, booking and also the link to the Melbourne Museum in the description below. So uh, please uh, have a look at the description if you require for the information. And remember, a like to our channel would be very much appreciated. appreciated. <laughs> yes, that's right. So also hit the bell button because then you can stay tuned for more adventures that you're coming up with. So yeah. that is also going to be something that we would really, 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 really appreciate. Okay guys, so we had a blast in that movie theater. It was really cool with um all that 3D stuff. It was really sweet. Um I, I did get just a bit scared and also please don't tell my parents though they're right here, just don't do any don't tell. Um I took a sneak peek of my glasses to see what it looks like without the glasses and it looks pretty pretty blurry to be honest. Even with the glasses on, it was, it's not like blurry. And also, I did get a bit scared because, um, how do I say this? Um, like, you know, like sometimes when you put those glasses, like when you see something coming towards you, like, so I'm going to punch towards you, okay? So let's say my hand is coming towards you. So that actually happened in the moon and I got a bit, I got really scared. But, but I'm not scared of that, okay? I got a bit scared. So yeah, the moon was a blast. I loved it. 
Uh, yeah. My brother even made two dinosaurs. Anyway, all right. So these are the dinosaurs I learned. One is a theropod. If you don't know what a theropod is, it's a very large meat-eating dinosaur. This theropod was a Phylophosaurus. It was the most biggest meat-eating dinosaur in the Jurassic period. Then I learned the Glaciosaurus, a plant eater. It looked like it kind of looked like like, like Liguanodon, but um, let's say it's Mechosaurus. So now let me tell you about this. What, what Jurassic is. So, Jurassic is a time where the dinosaurs live. We, we don't call Jurassic just Jurassic. We call it Jurassic period. The first period where the dinosaurs lived was called the Jurassic. Then it was the Jurassic and then the Cretaceous. So, in the when the Jurassic just started, there was something called the Great Diet. Now, Dad, let Tell us what caused this great dying. So the great dying was caused by an eruption of volcanoes. I think it was in the Okay, it was more Yep. So then that was so in the early Jurassic there was no dinosaurs. Only like mammals. So most of those of them didn't survive. But then a few years later when it was the middle of Jurassic where it was like getting Good again, like um, and like reformed, like it, like the, it made itself, it it recreated itself to like be a healthy environment, and that's when the dinosaurs first lived. Some mammals were reborn, and yeah, I don't know how the Jurassic died or the or the Jurassic, but I do know how the Cretaceous period that the dinosaurs died. It was mostly, let's say, by asteroids. That caused the dinosaurs not able to breathe and they were dead. Extinct. Speaking about that, Mojave, there is another movie coming which is called Jurassic. Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. Yeah, yeah. Same theater, I think starting next week. And we okay. surely will go for that and we'll let you know. Yes, yes. dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! So uh, that was a brief spill from Mehran and Marvel. So as you can see, uh, the kids really benefit from uh, shows like that, and they don't cost much either. So I think it's 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 a real um, real uh, plus point for us here in Melbourne. We're actually quite fortunate and quite lucky to have all these facilities available. So that's why we are me and Narvin are doing this uh, this review so that it could guide parents out there as well on what are the things that parents could do to keep their kids entertained and also to get them uh, learning stuff you know and there's many ways to learn you know uh, you can learn from books you can learn by surfing the internet you can learn by speaking to others but this kind of learning where you actually experience something I think takes it to a new different level as well these are experiences that the kids will stay with they will grow with and they will talk about and they will go to school and they will talk with their friends about and they will share this experience and this remains as memories that will will be embedded into them so i think it's good to promote such things and i think the melbourne museum has done an excellent job giving us these facilities for a very uh, minimal price so definitely uh, bring your kids bring your families and uh, come for one of the shows you know if your kids are into dinosaurs they would end up going home like a happy a happy little chap like Mahavir is today so lots to learn um, fair pricing uh, parking now parking is always a big issue in Melbourne uh, you, if you are a museum member you can pre-book the parking uh, it's ten dollars for the whole day we came on Sunday today and we just parked on the street and it's free parking on a Sunday so if you can find if you come early enough and you find a parking slot park your car there free for the day so that's another addition so once the kids are done with with uh, with the museums what can they do what's the next plan all right so outside the museum there is this big area which where you can see heaps of kids playing skateboards and, and rollerblades and and there's boxing uh, classes and all that so this good good fun entertainment for the kids to just you know stand around and have a have a good look and also for food there's there's a lot of foods here in Carlton so we did a review a couple of weeks ago about an Indonesian restaurant so look up there I've got the description up there so
So uh, definitely if you guys like Indonesian food, it's not too far. It's only about three minutes walk from the Melbourne Museum. So that'll be a good place to bring your families for some food as well. And as usual, thank you so much for watching. And I hope this uh, video has uh, uh, given you some additional information. And you know, again, thank you. Do like and do subscribe to our channel. Thanks again and have a nice day ahead. See ya.